If you still did not subscribe our channel then please click on the red color subscribe button and click on the bell also so that you can get notification of our upcoming videos and updates. Hello friends welcome back to our channel Agrim IT Education. In our last video we talk about HP 3 power storage. This is the second video of the same series. In last video we talk about our architecture of HP 3 power and some basic things. So today we will show you uh, three power features, provisioning, CPG and all these things, how we can create and how we can provision learns. So on practically on simulator. So please, please keep watching. So for simulator, we need a VMware workstation or VMware vCenter. So for configuring we need three VM, three virtual machine, two virtual machine for uh, three power no, uh, three power cluster node, three power controller node, and one virtual machine for disk enclosure. So in this disk enclosure we need to create we need to create cases and uh, disk physical disk and uh, how we can configure controller nodes and how we can configure the keys and disk all these things we can discuss later so after all this configuration we can connect uh, after all this configuration we can connect uh, three par via putty or GUI so for GUI we need uh, HP three par management console software so here I already installed HP three par management console and I log in also because it will take some time to log in so how it can log in you need to click on connect here it will ask IP address and username and password what we give into while via configuring three power controllers so we need to give same IP address and username password so after that it will connect it so when you click on system it will show the three power what is the configuration of three power and all these things it is like a dashboard so here you can see the three power uh, three power name i am giving the simulator three power is for testing purpose it is uh, second thing is model model of hp three power it is eight eight thousand two hundred so in our last video i i told you that uh, if it is eight thousand two hundred support is it it is 8200 means it have two controllers node and if it will be 8400 that means it have four controllers so in this three in this three power simulator we have two controllers node and other than that all these things are there what is the capacity and all these things you go to setting capacity here you can see <coughs> all the capacity we have i configured three types of uh, disk fc nl and ssd so this is the capacity of uh, these three tricks disks so what are the software uh, by default uh, when we install three power simulator it will uh, configure all the basic software so you can see all the softwares are installed enabled here you can see alerts actually for VM we need uh, two CPU per VM but uh, I have some less CPU be, uh, because of that uh, we are showing degrade messages degrade warning okay after that uh, here you can see controller nodes two, con two controller nodes are there node 0 and node 1 so out of these node 0 is the master master node Okay, and that's, that is serial number. Serial number we need to configure uh, same serial number for both the nodes. <clears throat> After that, uh, here you can see the ports. Uh, in our last video, I uh, I explain you how many ports are there, disk ports and uh, host ports. So here, <clears throat> disk ports are there. Di disk ports are connected to uh, disk enclosure and host ports are connected to uh, our host uh, like uh, sand switch so here sand switch is not there so only disk ports are there these are drive cases 
four cases I created and these are physical disk FC NL and SST here you can see number of disk and what is the capacity of the disk second option is host here you can see how many hosts are connected with this uh, uh, three power storage here no host is connected so we can connect a dummy host because uh, sand switch and servers are not connected it, it is a simulator only so I am creating a host when you click on create host it will uh, show this wizard when you so you need to click on next here you it will ask uh, some information like what is the host name I am giving like uh, host one I am giving host set host set uh, basically we create for cluster only if uh, we need to create a host group like uh, for one volume we need to allocate more number of host like in cluster two nodes are there and we need to give same uh, volume on both nodes then we need to create a host group or host set so here nothing no not required host set not required so what is the host OS what is the environment of uh, host so I'm selecting okay reddit I'm selecting so it will choose automatically person also after that you need to click next here uh, you need to give select WWN number so if you see my last video I I explain you uh, I exp already explain how to join uh, how to joining on sand switch so after uh, create a join with uh, sand switch and uh, with host uh, uh, to the three par controller it will show the WW same WWN number here so we need to select that WWN number by creating host here uh, nothing is there because sense is not there so I am creating dummy host so I am giving just 000 okay after that click on next next and finish so you can see the host one that we given it is uh, already it is created now so in total export size it is showing zero because we uh, still did not uh, allocate any virtual volume so that is host after that uh, we go to provisioning provisioning is nothing like uh, if we just uh, create a virtual volume and assign to host that is called provisioning so for provisioning we need to go virtual volume here in virtual volume uh, remote copy export unexport uh, when we create a virtual volume it will go to unexport it will go to unexport volumes and after that we need to export to the host so for that we need to click on create virtual volume so it will show this wizard so before virtual volume you need to create CPG CPGs uh, I already explained in my last video what is CPG so if you go to CPG here by default uh, CPGs are created if you need to create CPG then you click on create CPG it will show some wizard uh, after that click on next here it will ask CPG name suppose CPG1 after that uh, you need to select disk type here disk types are FC, NL and SSD whatever disk you need to select you can select here and after that select red type what red you need to uh, allocate for this CPG red 5, red 0, red 1 whatever you want after that click on next and finish so CPG is already created so I'm not creating any CPG so we create virtual volume okay when we click on create virtual volume it will show this wizard after that click on next so it will ask some basic information virtual volume name what is the name of virtual volume so I'm giving test 
test volume one okay after that uh, if you click on export volume after creation that means it will export to the host after after create this volume it will export it will ask uh, on which host you need to export this volume so we are clicking on that template we don't have any template after that uh, three uh, three options are there dedupe no need to dedupe thin provisioning and full provisioning what is thin provisioning and full provisioning suppose if we create 100 gb of learn so if we select full provisioning that means it will fully occupied 100 GB will be fully occupied from the storage if user uh, did not use uh, the 100 GB if it is uh, if it is usable uh, space is only 2 GB or something after that also it will occupy full uh, full size so if we select a thin provisioning it will occupy only what uh, user is consuming suppose user is uh, occupy only 2 GB that it will uh, occupy from storage only 2 GB so we always selecting thin provisioning here you need to give size so by default in HP 3 par storage maximum uh, one single maximum maximum size of volume is 16 TB so I am giving 100 GB of learn. Here you can select GB, TB, whatever you want. 100 GB I am selecting. After that you need to select CPG, CPG what, whatever you create CPG. So I am giving uh, this learn from FC disks. So FC red 5 I am selecting. After that if you need to select uh, allocation warning you can enable here like if uh, volume is uh, reach 75 percent it will show some warning you can select here so i'm not selecting anything after that click on next and finish after click on finish is it will ask uh, for export on which host you need to export this volume see here export volume wizard automatically open after that click on next here only one host is there because uh, only one host we created so select on this host click on next so here you can see test volume it will export to host one click on finish So after that if you go to export volumes here you can see one volume one virtual volume test volume size is 100 GB red 5 thin provisioning and it is exported to host one and if you go to host here also you can see see host one and total export size volume exported one volume and total export size is 100 gb so this way you can create a virtual volume and export to the host same thing we can do on uh, cli also so for cli you need to connect through putty see see what is the configuration of this three par you can see here what is the total capacity what is the allocate capacity and what is the free capacity you can see all these things here so what is the volumes we can see show vv so one test volume we created if you want to see which host uh, we allocate this volume if you want to see whatever host uh, connected from this three par show host so one host is there so 
Elan hyphen V here you can see which host it is uh, exported on which host it is exported host one okay so three power commands uh, i can share you so in this video here that's enough for this video uh, in our next video we will show you the advanced uh, features of uh, three power storage how configure adaptive optimization how we can dynamic optimization for virtual volume and all these things uh, we'll share you in our next video so that's it for today i hope you enjoy this video uh, if you enjoy this video then please uh, like it and subscribe our channel and if you want this uh, three part simulator and uh, installation guide you just subscribe our channel and uh, share your email email id to our uh, in comment box okay so we will uh, share my we will share my uh, google drive link so from that you can download the full version of this uh, simulator and uh, uh, license key also and installation guide also and if we want uh, online training then please uh, comment us or you can mail us on my mail id my mail id is agree my education at gmail.com and we have a facebook page also you can like and you can like it and comment on the facebook page okay thanks for watching see you next